It's Matthew Wood, my dudes, and I'm back with a new video, The Positivity Project. Let's go. Hey y'all, my name is Matthew Wood, and yes, I am so glad to have every single one of you here right now. This is the first ever Positivity Project. Yes, last week I went out on a mission, a mission to spread as much good news, as many positive vibes as I could. I've been inspired. I've been inspired by every single member of society that is continuing to work on the front lines every single day. What they're doing is absolutely phenomenal, and I wanted to share some of that with all of you. I've also been inspired by John Krasinski of Some Good News, but he doesn't know those. I'm the king. I'm the king of positivity, and I want to share some of that positivity, and if we even get noticed by him, I told people I would dye my hair blonde. This blonde, I'm gonna look like this. I know y'all wanna see that. So I asked everybody out there to send me 10 second videos of something good happening in their life or shout out to somebody on the front lines and say to say, the results we got were absolutely phenomenal. And so I am so excited to be able to share this with you, all the amazing things people are doing and all the amazing things people have to say. It's gonna be awesome. So here we go. This is for all of you, everybody out there on the front lines. This is the Positivity Project. We won't be here without you. So let's get it. Let's kick it. Let's start this bad boy. Let's go. Hey, Matt. Um, so something that's been really, really good in these past couple weeks is all this like free time at home has given me the chance to become a better chef and to, like work on my cooking. Might not be as big as some of the others, but I'm still pretty excited because I just found out I can make my favorite food. Because <laughs> sometimes you got to enjoy the little things, you know? Hi, I'm Mac, and something good that's been happening in my life is I found some more creative ways to express myself, like painting, collages, or even just my makeup. All right, man, something good that's happening in my life is I've got my kitchen back so I can keep cooking, and I get to talk to you and the boys every night. He's right. Do you know that? Hi, everyone. My name's Delaney. Um, during this communication, I've been spending more time with my family because in the fall, I am moving states for college, so trying to make the most out of the memories we have and make some new ones before that time's up. Hi, I want to shout out my cousin, Rebecca, who worked so hard to become a CNA. And she definitely didn't sign up for this, but I know she's making a difference in the lives of the seniors she works with, so thank you. Hey, uh, I just want to spread what makes me happy is knowing I have stable Wi-Fi and I can contact my friends and girlfriend and I know that I'm never truly alone. Shout out to all the frontline workers during these crazy times, including my aunt. We can't appreciate you guys enough. We love you guys. Thank you. For my Semper Positivity, I'd like to show up Layla, who currently is not facing the right way. Um, she is honestly the most therapeutic pet ever. She always makes me happy while I'm doing coursework because it's stressful under this quarantine. So she's very much appreciated and she knows it. Hi! Okay, so something positive that's happened in my life is I get to see my dog every day. <laughs> and also I found out my research can be remote so I'm really excited about continuing with that. And also I've been able to talk to my family and friends a lot more. I'd like to thank all of the doctors and nurses and um, pediatricians and all the paramedics who are helping us through this time of crisis and how they're like standing up and uh, basically like saving us and like trying to find a cure for this virus. What's up everyone? I just want to give a big shout out to all those people working on the front lines. You guys are awesome and I just want to thank you so much for putting your lives at risk. I just wanna say thank you to all of the essential workers, whether you're working at CVS or the grocery store, or you're on the front lines of the medical professional. Everything you do is making our lives better and easier and bringing us comfort and happiness one day at a time. During this time, I've been studying, running, and working on my coding skills. And I wanted to say thank you to all the healthcare and essential workers for everything that you're doing. Thank you for your sacrifice and for keeping us safe. Hi, I'm Seth. Something good that's been happening in my life is that I've had the time to just randomly drive around lately with my mom. And in the process, I've gotten to spend more quality time with her than I have in a really long time. 
Although online learning can be incredibly frustrating at times, this quarantine has allowed me to spend a lot more time with my family than I would have had if I was still on campus. Hey Matt, just wanted to thank all of the essential workers that are out there, um, including healthcare workers that are out there busting the butts every single day. You guys are doing amazing and we're so grateful for all that you do. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody on the front lines, especially my dad who is a doctor and constantly, constantly working and caring for others. It's super inspiring to see and I know that with positivity our world is going to bounce back even better than it was before. The shout out goes to my Aunt Lisa, who's a respiratory therapist and continues to go into work each day. Thank you so much for all that you do and I can't wait to see you soon. I love you. Spreading positivity, I just wanted to shout out my older sister, Christina. She's a nurse at CS Mott Children's Hospital in Ann Arbor, staying on the front lines fighting every day. I just want to say thank you to all those who are out there putting their lives at risk to make sure that we are able to get everything that we need during this crazy time. Um, so thank you guys. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Listen, y'all, all this has been absolutely phenomenal. Like, we're not even, we're not even close yet to be able to share everything that people have sent in. But I want to take you on a journey real quick. People are doing amazing things inside their homes. And it's kind of awesome to see people spending time with their family, um, thing, doing things they probably haven't been able to do in a really long time with all this time they've got. So, from my friend, Ashton Clark, from the University of North Carolina, here is how she's spending some of the time with her mom. Thanks, Ashton, let's see what it is. Tonight is Bob Ross painting. One positive part of my quarantine was my brother and I deciding to build a fort for the first time in years. We decided to use pillows, blankets, chairs, and anything else we could find to make something really cool. It took up our entire basement. After a lot of work, here's the final product. Pretty cool, right? Hi everybody. So it's super hard for me to be away from all my friends right now, but I am really happy that this has given me the opportunity to come closer to my neighbors. Uh, we do a um, social distancing happy hour every Friday, and it's always a good time. Also, go heels. Ceiling equals roof. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. We just wanted to share some of our cute little kitty cats who probably yeah. are hating this right now. Her but says hi. Scout says hi. He's getting a little wiggly. They've definitely kept us positive during yeah. this quarantine. We've been spending lots of quality time with the kitties. We bribed them with treats for this too. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi to Matt? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I think she's done with this. Yeah, they think something's fishy. <laughs> I'm Allie G. And I'm Aiden. And the best part of our quarantine has been spending extra time together. I'm Aiden. <laughs> okay, Matthew. Well, something good that's happening with me today is a. Uh, I'm on the finals grind, but you know we're getting through it. We're getting our we're getting our work done, and tonight I'm looking forward to playing some Animal Crossing, spending some time with my family. So yeah, we're it's going to be a long grind, but we're getting things done and we're being productive. Thank you, thank you to the first responders and the nurses who are working hard to stop the spread, including my cousin Amanda. Thank you. Hi, so something positive that happened in my life recently was this quarantine because I get to hang out with my sister more. <laughs> hey Matt, Lauren and I would like to thank all the teachers and professors out there right now. Uh, I think they've handled this transition really well, so we're just both very grateful for them. So thank you so much, Matt. We love you and continue to spread the positivity. Bye. Wow. As I've been saying, aren't these people amazing? There are so many good things happening out there. So now I want to flip it around a little bit and I want to show you some of the things people are doing at home to help better society. Maybe this will inspire one of you to do something like this as well. So here it is. These are things people are doing at home to help out. It's gonna be awesome. Let's check it out. I have been working on signs for all of my friends just to make them smile. So I find a pun or a mean type of thing that will make them laugh. 
and I make it onto the sun, and then I go out in the middle of the night, and I be a ninja, and I put all the signs into my friend's yards. They text me with all of these fantastic remarks about how amazing the sign is, and how much they laughed, and how their parents reacted to it, all that kind of stuff. I think I've done almost 50 of them now, and I'm working on the next batch, which should be going out like tomorrow night, or maybe the night after. I put it forward on the back, so that people will find something that they think their friends will smile about, and make all of their friends happy. So yeah, here's one of them. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Pascoe, the school secretary at Notre Dame Preparatory School. And I'm Sue McGinnis, chemistry teacher at Notre Dame Prep. And we're here today with some good news and what we've been doing for um, frontline workers and how we've been making these ear protectors. So um, a knitting group, um, Calumet Hats for Hope, which is very active, not just in the state of Michigan, um, but throughout the nation, put out a plea for these ear savers and their goal is to make 5,000 of them, to have them distributed throughout the country um, for the frontline workers to help save their ears when they're wearing the masks. So how, how this works is we have a mask, um, and instead of this going then around their ears, right, this will go behind their head, right, and um, it will attach to the buttons, saving their ears. Because having these masks on 10, 12, uh, 15 hours a day becomes very, and day after day becomes very irritating to your ears. Ear. So uh, Calumet um, Hats for Hope initiative is a great organization um, and we like to support them here at Notre Dame Prep whenever we can. So, uh, you know, shows got canceled and um, the costume shop is just collecting dust. Well, my friend, her and her husband were making masks for um, just people in their neighborhood and then special masks that can actually go over PPE and then you can take them off and you can wash them and you can reuse your PPE. Um, but her sewing machine broke. And so I am letting her borrow the sewing machines from the costume shop. And I also donated some of our fabric. Next, we're gonna take a look at some of our workers that are still deemed necessary. Workers like my dad and his crew at the Rochester Hills Meyer. All of us here at Meyer, congratulating any fellow retail workers and frontline workers. Thank you for all that you do and all the efforts you put there to make sure everybody is safe and social distance within six feet. You guys rock. And we both still believe in. <laughs> Guys, we appreciate your help. <laughs> From the Meyer Valley. Once again. People are doing incredible things both out there and in their homes. It's absolutely phenomenal. But now we got a little special treat. Our first ever positivity weather report brought to you by the man, Jack Magic. Jack Hammonds, let's get it. Jack, tell us, how's the weather looking out there today? Hi, I'm Jack Hammonds here on the set of At Some Good News representing Snap Positivity. And I'm here to tell you, if you live in Macomb, Michigan, Get ready, because we're going to see some great temperatures as they move up through the 40s and 50s, maybe even into the 60s as we transition from spring into summer. So hopefully, as soon as all this quarantine ends, we can go hang out outside and enjoy the summer. Uh, today, I got to participate in John Krasinski's virtual prom, and that was pretty lit. Speaking of dancing and proms, it is safe to say this quarantine has truly brought out the dance moves of people all around us such as Sarah Avery and Alex Cook. My grandpa even got into the craze. Some even decided to take measures into their own hands when dealing with COVID-19.
virus eradicated. Hello, I just wanted to wish everyone a giant thank you, um, like my stepdad, Sean, and everyone who's out there is working, um, or even just staying at home. So thank you so much, everyone. You're doing great. To add on top of that, Macy got thrown, I think, the coolest quarantine birthday parade I think I've ever seen. That's a friend that's coming to say happy birthday. Hi there, hope you're having a blessed evening. Um, the best part about my quarantine recently has been living with my roomie. She's the best and the light of my life. She's the best. She makes me smile every day. Something positive that has happened to me during quarantine is being able to spend time with my family every day and being able to focus on myself and improving my mental health. My parents have been working super hard. My mom is a banker, and my dad's a police officer, and they've been working incredibly hard to support families throughout this time. Something good that's been happening in my life is that since college has started, I haven't been reading a lot, but this is how many books that I've read since quarantine started. I've read about nine books so far, and I've started taking up journaling because I think it's good to practice some more mindfulness. My mom and I are taking the extra time at home as an opportunity to start our first vegetable garden in our backyard. So first off, I'm really glad that I could take my dogs for a walk on this beautiful and sunny day outside. I'm also really grateful that even though the movie theaters are closed, I can still watch a big screen at home. Hi, I just wanted to send a quick thank you to all of our doctors and nurses that are working so hard on the front lines right now. Thank you guys so much for all of your amazing work. Hi, my name is Megan. I'm Max. And Max and I, my brother, we've been bonding together during quarantine by doing workouts on YouTube, and it's been super fun. <laughs> One of the most important things, too, is to always give your family members a call even if they are local celebrities like this. Maria, about two years ago, she was an internet star internationally. She was the Italian grandmother learning to use Google Home, who went on the Steve Harvey show twice. And we've got Maria, she's in Flagler Beach, Florida. We're just checking in. Hey mom, how you feeling? I'm fine, but I'm sick and tired to watch TV. They talk it about virus, 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 so. I don't watch TV anymore. I call everybody, but I got a mistake. It's different of the time. So sometimes I call and they say, who answered? Maria, do you know what time it is? No, what time? It's three o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Go back to sleep. Good night. It's about five weeks with your husband, Chi Chi, uh, who you've been married to for 68 years. How is that going? Oh, not very well. He cannot hear. I cannot see it. So no. do you want to send off a nice big hug, a virtual hug to everybody from Grandma Gugu? Oh, yes. I like to do this, but I have to do it in the phone because I cannot come in and give you a big hug because we have a virus. We have to stay six feet away from one to another. Hey, it's Joey from Mojo in the morning, and I want to say thank you so much to all of our medical professionals working day and night. I know you haven't had a day off in so long. We appreciate you. My sister-in-law, Vanessa, she's a PA, so I appreciate her. And all the janitors, too. I see Gina the cleaning lady here busting her ass for us. Thank you so much. Hey, it's Mojo from Mojo in the morning on Channel 955. I just want to thank all of our great healthcare providers, the doctors, the nurses, our pharmacists, also the firefighters, the police officers, all those essential workers that are helping keep us safe and trying to make us get better uh, with this coronavirus and uh, COVID-19. We cannot tell you how much you guys have been just superheroes. And thank you guys so much for everything you do every single day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much concludes our first ever Positivity Project. I want to give a huge thank you to every single person who sent in a video. Seriously, be able to see these videos every single morning when I woke up, something new truly made my day. And um, I'm so glad that you're giving me the opportunity to be able to share this with so many people out there. 
Once again, I wanna give a big thank you to every single person working out there on the front lines. People in my own family. People like my dad where you get the best grocery store chain in the world. Meyer. Ah. Thank you, Dad. People like my Uncle Sean. People like my Uncle Scotty. People like my Uncle Otto. Just can't forget y'all this time. So much love to every single one of y'all. You, you guys are just doing something phenomenal and it, it just it makes me really proud. Seriously. Also, I want to send a message to some good news. John Krasinski. I said last time that if we get noticed, if we appear maybe with you, I want to collab. I would love to collab. I think we would work really well together. I think we'd be great. I think we'd be great. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the king. I'm the king of positivity. So Mr. John Krasinski, reach me. You can reach me here at my personal Insta at the Real Wood 13 You can catch me at Snap of Positivity on Insta. Um, you can catch me on Twitter at MattBWood13 or at my Bachelor fan page at MattTheBatch. Um, you can catch me wherever you, you know, you, you need to. I'm on Twitter, I'm on the Instas, I'm, I'm everywhere, but I'll be ready because um, I'm ready to dye my hair blonde. Also, you know, um, I'm just saying, maybe if you got Dwayne The Rock Johnson down there, I think that'd be pretty cool. The Rock Rock's pretty much like, you know, my guy, besides you, of course. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, if we got like The Rock, Matt Wood, and John Chris, I think that'd be, you know, like The Rock and Sock Connection, a tag team you won't be able to forget. It. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I want to see all um, this. So I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to challenge me again. I don't know. But yeah, I'm shouting you out. So, let's see ya. So, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for watching the Positivity Project. It means a lot. It means the world to me. Please share with anybody you can. I want as many people around the world to be able to see these good vibes, see the amazing things that we're doing. It's a tough time out there. And we might not be together physically, but that does not mean we are alone by any means. So thank you. Much love. My name is Matthew Wood. This is the Positivity Project. I am signing off. Stay crispy, y'all. Yeah. Now this one goes out to everybody out there that helped me out during this process. Much love. Stay crispy, y'all. This one's for you. Get away. Bring in the beat real quick. You know what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four. Uh, positivity. Puh, positivity. Uh, positivity. Puh, positivity. Uh, positivity. Puh, positivity. Uh, positivity. Puh, positivity. A. Word. MC Wood. Big time row. Keep looking for that mixtape on SoundCloud. Collaboration three, still coming soon. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Peace.